Well, we all know how important donating blood is, but now in Broward County, paramedics are using your blood donations to treat critical patients on the scene even before they get to the hospital. And they tell us they're saving more lives than ever before. I can say <clears throat> I've been doing this almost 20 years and this is the most impactful thing I've seen in my career by far. Broward Sheriff's Office Fire Rescue Lieutenant Steve Kravanek is no stranger to loss. You know, these patients in the past, we just typically would try to control the bleeding and get them to a trauma center as fast as we could. And unfortunately, a lot of times they didn't make it. But Lieutenant Kravanek says there was a major change within his department for the better. In 2019, BSO Fire Rescue started delivering whole blood to critical patients still on the scene of bad wrecks, of shootings, of any major trauma where a patient was on the verge of death. And they are today, because of it, saving more lives. These are patients, they wouldn't make the parking lot of the ER five years ago. And now they're making it to the hospital. This is the most important thing you can do in trauma. For years and years and years, we would just put saline into these patients because it's all we had. Um, and, you know, that wasn't effective. It doesn't carry red blood cells to, to oxygenate the brain. It doesn't have any of the clotting factors to help them stop bleeding. The idea to bring whole blood right to patients in life or death situations in Broward County, the brainchild of Dr. James Roach, the medical director for the sheriff's office. Dr. Roach heard of the idea in San Antonio, the country's first department to do it, and he was determined to make Broward County the second. I asked the question, why can't we do this? We should do this. Is anybody doing this? Personal tragedy, the reason Dr. Roach pushed for more to be done for critical patients. Every time it gets me, it's like no matter how many times I talk about it, it does get me emotional just because she was such an amazing young woman. His 23 year old niece, Taylor Lee, killed the year before when she was T-boned by a school bus while driving in Naples. And you start to think about like Taylor could have lived potentially. There might have been a way to, to help her to get to the get more time. Could we buy time for her, you know, for for any of our loved ones? The blood is stored in coolers just like this one. So when paramedics get a call, they can come right over to their helicopter. They can take that blood, load it up on board and deliver it right to the scene. To see someone that you touch and they're ice cold, cold to the touch, they're pale, they're barely able to stay conscious because they're bleeding out so much. And you go from that to, I don't know what you're doing, but don't stop, thank you. That's an, what an incredible immediate response. The system works well, but isn't perfect. The blood is expensive, more than $500 for one unit, and it expires after about 20 days. This is definitely worth the cost. They are saving more lives, and for these first responders, that makes it all worth it. It's, it's emotional. You know, uh, we as first responders in fire rescue, we really don't get a lot of opportunity to have that closed loop, you know, where you see them, you see them in their worst hour, um, and then being able to see them at their best hour. I get choked up because mm -hmm, these captains say every time they give whole blood, another one for Taylor. Just so meaningful and CBS News Miami and Miami Dade Animal Services blood drive efforts continue today from noon to 4 p.m. If you're interested in donating, you can head to 7401 Northwest 74th Street. Those donating will get freebies, including a $20 gift card and a free pet adoption voucher. And you'll be saving lives.